Christy, a college student, and her adopted son, three-year-old Nico, have also depended on programs supported by United Way of Story County. Nico, who has special needs, receives individualized child care, and Christy, who is a single parent, has access to the support and assistance she needs. He has what's called septo-optic dysplasia. Nico is blind, and, and he has some endocrine deficiencies, um, growth hormone deficiency. He doesn't sleep on a regular schedule so that we're tired a lot, so that there isn't a lot of time for, for extra things. Uh, he goes to school and uh, Monday through Friday, and then Monday through Thursday, we go to Child Serve and Ames um, for therapy. There's not a lot of money. The extra monies that we have seem to go towards gas to get to, get to therapy and back. Once again, United Way of Story County stepped up when they discovered that families receiving toys in the Toys for Tots program had to drive to Des Moines to pick up their toys. United Way offered to be the distribution center for Story County. We would not have had the gas money to make it to Des Moines um, to, to pick that up. And um, it was just very convenient to pick it up right there at Child Serve. Uh, this really provided a lot for him with the bumps in the head. And it's soft and it talks. Listen, what's it say? There it is. <laughs> United Way of Story County, not just raising money for traditional services, but being on the lookout for new and unmet needs, such as countywide transportation, or making sure that children have a happy holiday season without additional financial burdens on their families. Where would Evan and Caleb, Jamie and her family, and Nico and Christy be without the services supported by United Way of Story County donors?